this year in 2016, Geise is launching its line of precision machine scope mounts. We call it the Super Precision Series. Like many things that Geisley makes, it starts with a request from the Department of Defense. Geisley, at our manufacturing facility here in North Wales, Pennsylvania, not only has a very vertically integrated factory where we do just about everything under one roof, but we also have a complete engineering department and research and development department. We can quickly take a concept, turn it into a CAD model, and from there into a 3D printed prototype, and from there into a hard prototype made out of aluminum or steel in order to test a concept. We believe greatly in the iterative development process where you make small changes as you move forward into the best and optimum solution for whatever problem you're, try you're trying to solve. The request that came in from Geisley is that they needed a an optic mount that was very precise in its relationship from the bore down to the mounting area on the Picatinny. They needed the bores and the caps to be very precise because the ones that they were using were distorting the scopes when they were tightening the caps down. They wanted a very good return to zero, the best possible. And Geyser responded with this right here. This is an optic mount designed specifically for a 30 millimeter scope that a DOD Special Operations Unit uses. We start with a four and a half pound block of 7075 T6 aluminum. 7075 aluminum is the same high strength aluminum that the upper and lower receivers are made from on your AR-15. We machine that away until we're left with a five and a half ounce scope mount right here. Four and a half pounds to five and a half ounces. It's very wasteful. Here at Geisley, we have a tendency to do things the hard way, but it doesn't matter if it gets us the best product. When it's machined from one single block of aluminum, this is totally integral. We don't have separate pieces that are screwed together, glued together, it's one piece. The caps that you see right here, they start out as a solid. We line bore through both caps with a boring bar so they are exactly in line, exactly sized to your scope's diameter, and exactly in line with your mounting surfaces here on the scope mount where it mounts up to your upper receiver. These caps are then split with a jeweler saw and each cap is serialized to the base so that when you put these back together, each one is exactly in its appropriate position so that it maintains the best possible precision alignment to your Picatinny down on the bottom. We chose on the Geisley Super Precision Mount to use the classic nut and bolt method. The reason this is the most secure way to mount a scope mount to a Picatinny rail. Inferior lever mounts do not provide the 1,400 pound clamping force that each one of these bolts provide on our Geisley Super Precision Mount. Each bolt is set lower into the Picatinny groove than most other mounts that we've seen that use this same type of system. That means that you get a much better pinching effect down close toward the center of the Picatinny rail where the two angles intersect. Each bolt is a shear lug. What that does is it stops the back and forth rearward movement of the scope mount during recoil or counter recoil. Semi-automatic weapons have a counter recoil effect when the bolt carrier slams home. We precisely size these bolts to act like shear lugs that aren't loose, that don't flop around in the Picatinny rail. And again, in order to do things even harder, Geisley machines two shear lugs into the aluminum of the receiver. So there are four pathways to resist any back and forth movement. Precisely machined to the minimum tolerances of a Picatinny rail. When you put this scope mount onto your rail, you will notice there is very little back and forth movement. 
What this means is that it has exceptional return to zero properties. You will find that these nuts don't have to be torqued up. They basically can be hand tightened with a half inch wrench or a Leatherman screwdriver tool and you will have return to zero that's better than anything that you've ever tried. Notice here on the scope mount many of these pockets that we have all over it. We machine these pockets in not only for light weight so that this, this, this scope mount isn't, isn't a, a, a dog being very heavy, but we put these pockets in because now you have a rib, a higher rib here along the pockets and that adds stiffness to the scope mount. Instead of being a flexible fly or thin strap that goes around your scope, you have a very rigid and very stiff cap that isn't liable to bend when you tighten down on the scope mount bolts right here. You also notice the rib here in the center and this short rib right here. Instead of having your towers sticking straight up like a cantilever, being able to flop around, this rib strengthens these towers and it also strengthens the extension of the scope mount as it moves out away from the top of the Picatinny. Again, this is a very rigid means of making a mount such as this. You also notice the beautiful color of this, RDDC, desert dirt color. What that means is it's sand, but it could be a sand that's in any desert, whether it's uh, the Sahara Desert or a desert in East Asia or a desert here in the United States. We match the military specifications for this color scheme that they want to see in a tan type of tactical accessory such as this. This is also coming, going to come out in a black color and it's also going to be available in 2099 aluminum. 2099 is Alcoa's advanced lithium alloy aluminum that is used for Boeing, Airbus, and in many aircraft applications. It's 10% lighter than competing high strength aluminums and it's also 10% stiffer. It's the, it's the strongest and stiffest aluminum that you can use for a tactical component such as this scope mount. That scope mount will also have titanium hardware and titanium cross bolts, so it's the lightest, stiffest mount that you'll be able to purchase out on the market.